It's a really beautiful place, so I'm going to show you Poznan today. This behind me used to be the Royal Castle, and it actually burned down and they rebuilt it, and now it's Applied Museum of Arts. like Poznan is the place of the castles. There's another castle behind me and it's uh, Zamek Cesarski, if I'm saying it right. But that's uh, another castle so you can see castles. You have a lot of buildings here, so it's obviously some kind of university and a lot of students here. So it must be the city of universities and castles, Poznan. Nice Polish breakfast here. Nice. I don't drink uh, when I It's drink. okay? Yeah, it looks fantastic. I found this great uh, cafe in uh, Pozna and it's called Pishontak. And I'm with the man and his wife and they're the owner and it, it, they're treating me just like family. It's fantastic and the food is unbelievable. The breakfast is the best I've had in, in uh, probably in the whole European trip. And they have the sausage and it's just fantastic. What is the sausage called? Frankfurt Turka, but uh, so it's like a Turkish Frankfurter, I guess. But it's, it's Polish, she said. But and the way he, the way they did the bacon is fantastic. The bacon is just so thin and crisp and light. It's it's kind of crispy, but it's it's perfect. I'm not really a fan of bacon, but what a great breakfast! And the coffee was good too. So if you come to Poznan, you have to come to this place, Bishonka. I'm sorry. Pochontek? Pochontek. Pochontek. Yeah. <laughs> this is the place to come in Poznan. <laughs> they treat you like family here. Okay, I'm with this uh, friend of mine, and his name is Ace, an Asian friend. He's here from the hostel, and we're uh, exploring. Uh, Poznan, and there's this place, uh, what's it called, Dais? Dabka. Okay, and it's like a 7 Eleven, he said. So, yeah, it looks like a 7 Eleven in the United States. So, that's where they go to buy uh, stuff in Poland, like 7 Eleven. So, we can show it to you. Zabka, Zabka, right? This is the hot dog they do? Okay, I see all these people lined up, and there's this uh, ice cream store, Polish ice cream store, and it's only in Poznan, they tell me. It's Kolorova. Kolorova? Is how you say it? Okay. Yeah. And it's um, really good ice cream, it's from Poznan, I guess, and all the people are really lined up, so 
it must be some good stuff. So. Hello. Good ice cream. You like it? Okay. This is Colorado. Yeah. Colorado. Yeah, definitely. And this is the best ice cream in Bosnia. Yeah, one of the best, I believe. Okay, I'll have to try that later, man. Yeah, you need to. Okay, uh, thank you. The queue is quite long, but it's definitely uh -huh. worth the time. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, I'm in the old town, I'm in this plaza and it's called Stare de Nek Poznanio. I think I'm saying it right, that's the best I can say it, but it's an old uh, traditional Polish square and it's in Poznan and it's very nice and it's full of tourists today, so everyone likes to come here on Sunday. Nice place to come in Poznan. Hey, <laughs> No, no, dawał wybór jakby człowiekowi, kogo uwolnić, czy Barabasza, czy Chrystusa. Nice. So I'm having a coffee at this place called Vado, and she said it's named after the instrument, but I'm having a latte. But I was looking at this um, menu and it's they're like experts in chocolate and, and coffee. Wow, it's really amazing. Uh, they've got some latte with white chocolate and cherries and wine. Uh, what else do they have? Latte macchiato. Latte with slightly bitter chocolate and rose petals. That's something they do here. They did that with the um, punchki also. It's different. So they have some really good uh, drinks and sweets and even coffees in, uh, in Poland that are very different. So. It's like a good place to come, Vedo. If you come to here, you can have some, and they have like chocolate too, like hot chocolate. So, a lot of choices here with berries. I'm in a nice Polish restaurant here in Poznan, and I have this Zube Veślev, and it means the soup um, with the rye bread. They put the soup inside the bread, it's really neat, look at this. Ah, oh, I like it. And it's a rye bread and they put the, uh, the soup in there. So, and you can eat the bread and everything, so it's really cool. Really nice. And this was 17 zwote, which is like uh, four something, four something euros, so less than five euros for this. Oh, it's really big, really good. Oh, it's a nice meal. So far I have to say the food in Poland was really is really good and really well uh, reasonably priced so you can come to Poland and really enjoy yourself eat a lot of good food and it's a lot cheaper than some of these other countries so I would definitely recommend it I'm gonna try this soup here I can't wait oh. try this oh it's got meat in it uh, potato carrots mm. oh it's delicious oh it's absolutely delicious I think it has sausage in it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, this is delicious. Oh, wow. Get this if you come to Poland for sure. Mm. To say this is such a smart idea because if you dip the bread into the, into the soup, which is normally what you do when you eat it, the way that they have it here, it, it's already absorbing the soup and the, all the flavor into the bread. So when you start to eat the bread, it's already, it's already marinated in the broth. So it's, and the soup is so good. Oh, it's just, this is one of, it's gotta be the best Polish soup I've ever had. I've never seen this in the United States or anywhere really. And I was in, they probably have it in Warsaw, but I didn't see it. So I'm glad I got it here. This is in Poznan. Okay, I had this uh, delicious meal at Pioro Fenixa, I think I'm saying it right, and this is only in Poznan, the man said, and he was nice enough to give me a vodka, a cherry vodka, so I'm going to have that, and this is the card, so if you want to come here, it's in this plaza here in uh, Poznan, so you can enjoy it, and I would definitely recommend this, uh, this dish here.
Oh, it's nice. Cherry vodka. It tastes like cherries. Wow, it's really sweet. Oh, nice. Excellent. So we got that nice meal for only 17 zwote. Zwote. I'm sorry, the Polish money is zwote. And that's uh, one zwote is, I'm sorry, one euro is 4.2 zwote, something like that when I exchange it. So, so it's pretty cheap. It's like three, four, like four, four euros. Oh, you can't beat that.